All right, hell yeah. So if you're a river runner, this is the screen you want. This is a seven-day flow prediction of what's going to happen on most rivers in the nation. Not all green dots have a seven-day forecast, but you can copy-paste this link, and you're going to get this page. It takes about five seconds for all the little green dots to load up, and then uh, you can kind of just click, you know, kind of double-click to, to get close. We're going to go check out the lock saw. The lock saw is right here. Now, I click on it, but yeah, it just pulls up like the, the kind of the regional map, and, and we'll talk about that in a second. So I kind of have to go go find it again. So here's the lock saw. I'm going to click on that, and uh, booyah. So here's the flow prediction for the lock saw. It does come up. we got a storm coming, but not, not, in, not in any fun range. But you can click on this and actually kind of see actually the numbers that's predicted so that's kind of cool this is kind of the regional uh, map and then once you get to here you can use these arrow bars to click to the next region so if I want to go over to the Seattle area that's going to be the next over from Idaho and uh, hell yeah we're just gonna click right up uh Oh, here it is. Okay, hell yeah, Sky Comish. And the Sky Comish just came up. We're going to click on the purple dot. That gives you this page. Oh, and it does give you data for the 28th. So uh, this was yesterday. So it gives you yesterday's data. So it is on the way up. And it's going to peak at 6 a.m. this morning. Is that true? No, it's going to... Holy Toledo. Well, th this is interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just it might it might go from seven to fifteen, but that's kind of what this is showing. So some of these dates are like uh, yesterday, and then it gives the prediction for the next seven days: twenty nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so uh, there you go, and uh, you just click backspace, and you know what I mean, and get into the region if you want to go down to Oregon. Click down here. So this is kind of how I navigate it. Uh, the other Aspen, what are the rivers? Here's the Clackamas. Yeah, Clackamas is juicing. I don't know anything about it. I just saw that that was the Clackamas. But anyway, and how else to find it if you don't use that URL, uh, copy-paste, is I would type in Seattle Flow Prediction. So if you type in those words, Seattle Flow Prediction, First thing up on Google, it says Advanced Hydraulic Prediction Service for Seattle. I used to be able to push like Denver Flow Prediction and Missoula, but this is the only one that actually works for my neck of the woods. And then I can just, you know, at least pull it up and at least find it. That's the crazy thing about the internet is like this one is really hard to find this flow prediction. So you get here and then you're just good to go. Oh, and even this page, this page sucks. So, uh, you know what I mean? If, if, if you're not getting the green dots, come back up to here to hit that national observation. And then that should load up all the green dots. And then you can kind of go zoom again. So I definitely wanted to make this video in about a minute, but it's probably like three or four. So anyway, thanks for joining me. And guess what? That's a video.